According to Expedia's 2024 Air Travel Hacks Report, 55% of Americans find air travel so stressful that they would consider it more daunting than a trip to the dentist. In order to navigate technological advances, travelers must be tech savvy, which could induce stress. But one company is hoping to reduce the travel blues by reducing travel times. By the 1960s, air travel evolved from novelty into a stressful necessity as passenger demand soared. Turboprop engines gave way to jet engines, which had faster speeds and higher altitudes, redefining flight and marking a new era in aviation. Now, engineers at Boom Supersonic are hoping to spark the next revolution with their supersonic airliner, Overture, set to hit the market by the 2030s with the promise of cutting transoceanic travel times dramatically. And the engine that powers the Overture airliner? Symphony, designed to fly at Mach 1.7 speeds. Simply put, Overture is twice as fast as a typical commercial jet. Instead of a flight from New York to London taking seven hours, we'll be able to do it in about three and a half hours. World Resource Institute reports that the U.S. aviation industry has set a target to reach net zero carbon emissions by 2050, primarily through the use of sustainable aviation fuel. Overture will help the cause by running on 100% sustainable aviation fuel. Yeah, baby! Yeah. And in a groundbreaking move, Boom Supersonic recently unveiled the Overture Super Factory in Greensboro, North Carolina. The the first U.S. facility for supersonic aircrafts. Set to produce 33 jets annually valued at over $6 billion, the factory also features a delivery center streamlining the process for customers. The tens of millions of people who can fly business class today are going to be able to fly supersonic for a similar fare on Overture 1, but that's just getting started. There's going to be an Overture 2 and Overture 3. We've already got some of those in the drawing board, and the goal is to get the fares down to where uh, cost is just not an impediment. Boom Supersonic may save time for travel in the future, but a new self-service security system at Las Vegas's Harry Reid International Airport is positioned to alleviate stress while getting travelers more involved with technology. With more than 430 federalized commercial airports nationwide, 685 security checkpoints, and 2,412 security screening lanes, it's often challenging to know what to expect at any airport. That's anything other than traveler annoyance. Six months ago, T TSA launched an innovative trial at Las Vegas' airport, introducing an automated system designed to speed up security for pre-check flyers. Just like scanning groceries at self-checkout, you can now self-check both your carry-on bag and yourself in this pilot program. You'll be greeted by a virtual agent, take off your shoes, and put your bag through the security scanner yourself. Also, the entire screening process is self-guided and automated, allowing TSA officers to focus on security. And if you have trouble checking in, a a TSA officer will respond remotely via a display screen. Part of what we're trying to do here is to figure out, hey, what works? What facilitates movement of people? Uh, while at the same time, making sure that we can provide the security we provide. Engineers and innovators are crafting creative solutions while catapulting travel technology into new and exciting territories. The latest advancements of Boom Supersonic's Overture Airliner and TSA's self-check security are poised to enhance the way we explore the world offering more convenience, safety, and personalization. And that means the only stress you may have to worry about are the results of your next dental visit. And if you enjoyed this week's episode of The Circuit, don't forget to like, follow, and subscribe for more incredible engineering news.